If you own real estate investment and you're looking to be able to sell that by another real estate investment and not pay taxes, the government wants you to do that with what's called a 1031 tax deferred exchange. It's taking an investor property, not your primary residence, and selling it for profit and then taking those profit and proceeds and putting it into the next property. And you can continue to do this, of course, talk to your tax professional, you know, to, you know, because I'm not a tax professional. I am a real estate broker. We can help you though. But you can continue doing that for the current laws all the way up until you die. And then guess what? When you die and let's say your son or your daughter inherit that from you, they could do what's called a step up tax basis, meaning that um, that they inherit it at whatever property value it is. And then and then those taxes that would have been paid throughout the years, none of those taxes aren't paid. So it's a freaking amazing strategy to be able to defer taxes is what many, many wealthy people do. Now, there's a lot of nuances that you should be aware of. And, uh, and it's really technical, right? So some of the things that you have to do is first, you're going to have to sell your property. And then as you sell your property, you're going to want to identify an investment property to be able to, you know, take the proceeds and invest it into. You got 45 days from the sale of your property to identify that next investment property. You've got 180 days from the point of selling the property, your, your investment property, before you actually buy the new one. When you take the money from the sale of the 1031, it's got to go to a third party called a qualified intermediary, also known as a QI. The qualified intermediary is going to uh, take the funds and they're going to make sure that all the money it does not get commingled into your personal funds. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you do want to take some money out and you, you want to use that personally, you can do that and you're going to uh, pay a high tax on that. So in other words, you want to keep the money uh, within the investment pool. It allows for you to be able to build wealth through taking one investment and getting a larger one, a larger one, and a larger one. Now, again, there are a lot of technicalities with this. If you're considering to do this type of transaction in Northern Virginia or Maryland, let me know. I've been helping real estate investors like you. I've been a real estate investor since before 2000. I've been helping real estate investors like you as a real estate broker since 2007. I'd be happy to be able to help. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If I can help you in any ways, even if just to answer a question, or if you're interested to buy a home, sell a house, or invest in real estate, call me or text 703-346-2776 or email me, dan at greetingsvirginia.com. I look forward to hearing from you and helping you and I hope that you have the best day of your life. God bless you. Greetings, DMV.com and Dan.